sorry about the background noise, but they're cutting grass here and it's a Monday at the campground. They gotta do it when they can do it, so please bear with us. We are restringing one of our window shades. Uh, it broke and we weren't real sure what to do, so we did a little research and now we wanna show you what we've been able to do to this point. First, we took everything off. The uh, valance came down. Then we disconnected the shade from the window. We now have it laying here on the table and we've started the process of putting it back together again. Let me show you just a couple of things, what we're talking about. If you have shades like this type with the strings that run through the pleats, if it has a day-night shade and a shade just to block out the light. So here's what I'm talking about. On this one, you can pull this down and it gives you privacy. Or if you need a night shade, you pull this down. So it's a day-night shade. That's what we're repairing. So the first thing to do was to get it on a level surface, which our table worked out very well to do that. So the key, is the spring that goes in the top to give strength to both sides. As you can see, we've taken the old string off, replaced it with some new string. Dina double tied, double knotted. And then we had some black tape, some duct tape, that we put on both ends in order to secure it and hold it in place so that the knot would not as, be as likely to come out. This will rest in the top channel. We'll explain this better as we're going through the process. We then took this end of the string and began running it down through the pleats on the first section and stopped. Now we're running it through this side as you can see. You can pinch two together and feed it through slowly and carefully because you do want to get both of these through the first section because we're going to cross them and you'll understand that we get to that point. So follow along as we continue the pleat. What you need is scotch tape to put on the end of this, but the duct tape is just too thick. You can really probably do two or three at a time. It's just it's starting to fray. This is a good time to test and make sure you haven't missed one of the pleats. That's a good thought. We used, we doubled, well, actually we tripled, quadrupled the string because we really don't know the length and we didn't want to come out at the end having the wrong, and we still may. We've got plenty of string. And we're not stringing you along on that. <laughs> Here's another little component that helped us, maybe to help you. We grabbed two straps that we have and we strapped this down because we've noticed this has an, a tendency to expand like an accordion. By strapping it down, you don't have to worry about it falling off onto the floor and maybe damaging the screen. It, some kind of a system just to make sure these are clamped down. So now you've allowed your table space to be used for the next set. Here's connecting the two parts. We have run from this end through this plastic tube to this side. This is where you crisscross. Okay. No. Yeah. This is where we came through. Yes. And Okay, now I got it. All right. Okay, ran it through here. Okay. And then it goes through. You can see in there where it is.
Through that hole, and now the threading begins. Like everything is connected. We were just a little nervous. I'm not having that right. And we went overboard. Okay, now. So we put the two together and you had to crisscross. One string went this way and the other string and came out this way. Now we're doing the same thing. That side is coming this way, and this side is coming this way. For our first try at redoing a broken string, uh, we did good. It just took us a little bit longer than we thought it might. Here's the real key we learned in this process. Make sure your strings tied down are taut because that is all the difference in the world. It should almost sound like a guitar string, not on key, but just almost like a guitar string. You need that as taut as possible in order for it to hold properly, especially when you have the day-night shade and the uh, just the day shade. Voila, another project finished. So I hope this helps you. Uh, we learned from other RVers, and so uh, we went to, several different locations on YouTube and found individuals that had done this and watched a couple of them so we could get a better understanding of various ways to look at this and the way it's communicated. But uh, we want to thank uh, our friends out there that keep keep things like this operational to help rookies like ourselves. So but the balance is back up, the strings are tight, the key good tight strings uh, help keep the shade in place. So I hope this was helpful to you. And if you got some comments or questions, um, feel free to share those uh, at the bottom. And if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. We are pushing towards a thousand by Thanksgiving and we are watching our numbers go up on a regular basis. So if you haven't subscribed, help us get there, please. And if you've enjoyed this video, this was helpful. Give us the thumbs up to let us know we're on track with where you are as well as what we're doing. And if you push the bell, it'll let you know when our next video is coming out. So as always, from the best of us to the best of you, uh, we're the Floros. And thanks for coming along with us on the journey. See you next time.